I am Pia from Cosmo Consult and in the next few minutes you will see my colleagues Stefan and David arguing about who has the best ideas to make life easier for companies in the environmental industry. And if you have any questions after the webinar or would like to discuss more, then please visit us at our digital booth or at cosmoconsult.com. Now enjoy and have fun. Hi David. Hi Stefan. It's May the 4th. Happy Star Wars Day. May the force be with you. Always. David, believe it or not, but I finally found an ERP system that helps me drive my waste management business and reverse logistics. It's super easy to use and covers everything I need. So I finally got rid of all those Excel spreadsheets and countless paper documents. Look at this, for example. I can now easily handle and manage my business partners and contracts in one spot. And because of all its built-in reverse logistics orders, I can handle all my customer services and collections directly in this new ERP system. I can even finally see where all, my, where all my containers are or where they're supposed to be. And I can use the full power of warehouse management, of production, of finance, and I can even manage multiple companies in different countries. I can manage all my different services now in this one single system. Oh, well, Stefan, it seems you already can collect a lot of information in that ERP system of, the, of yours. And that is great. But how do you use all that information? Imagine you have a new customer, someone calling in, just someone you don't know yet. They are asking for the usual. They're asking for a paper and cardboard thing. But what bin size do you offer them? And what other services could you offer in addition? Maybe something that they haven't even thought about. Well, you could try to go in that ERP system. You could try to bring up similar customers and look what they bought. But there's just so much information in the ERP system. Would you even know where to start? That's where machine learning comes in. It can recommend options for your new customer. It's called machine learning because it learns from all that data in your ERP system. For example, it looks at similar customers and looks at the order history. It even learns from your feedback. So over time, your recommendations or the recommendations of machine learning get better and better. Using machine learning, your customer gets the right paper waste bin. And in addition, they will be glad to hear about that sensitive document destruction service that your sales team didn't even know existed. That's pretty sweet, right? Yes, machine learning is nice, but you know, you also need a personal touch in business. And I, for example, have my sales team now completely integrated into the whole sales process. They all do their quotations and orders now all in the same ERP system and also all of their email communication, the document management, and even the CRM are now part of the same user experience. Take a look at this process, for instance. My sales representative sits with a customer and presents a new offer. He has access to the latest services and all the prices because he's directly connected to the ERP. He sees all the available resources because he can collaborate with the rest of the team. And they are really working closely together now. So as soon as the deal is finalized, the inside sales team can take over and can use the built-in call center user interface to react to customers' requests really quickly. That's important. They can create orders easily and the containers get rolling because I think that responsive customer service is really important. Hmm. Well, Stefan, you're right there. Reacting to customer calls quickly, um, that is key. But you know what's even better than reacting quickly? helping your customers before they even know that you need something. Just imagine the following example. Imagine a customer whose bin is almost full. They haven't noticed it yet. They have a quite a busy day. Their regular collection is not for a couple of days, so they will need an additional pickup. Uh, so what could you offer? What if you could offer the customer a pickup before they even realize the container is going to be full, before they even realize there is a problem? That is where the Internet of Things comes in. Did you know that there are uh, sensors on the market that you can put in your bins? They're quite small. Uh, they can measure how full each bin is. And they are connected to the internet. 
so they can send that data back to you in near real time. And let's combine that with artificial intelligence. Your system can now predict when each bin is going to be full next, and if a bin is going to be uh, full before its next schedule collection, the system can even alert you. So with the Internet of Things and artificial intelligence combined, you will find out what your customers need before they do. And if you can present a solution before they realize there's a problem, now that's what, a good, uh, what good customer service is all about. Yeah, that sounds really cool, and I really do like it. But you know, for my old school Waybridge, I need some real solid stuff. And look at this. I have a user interface built into my ERP system that my Waybridge manager can use to identify the truck on the Waybridge. Mm -hmm. He can see the order he is weighing, and he can also start the actual weighing activity. First and second weighing separated, naturally. Uh, the results then are directly updated to my inventory and to my order management because the user interface is integrated directly into the physical Waybridge. So now I can capture, um, I can, I can, uh, that the captured weight is directly available uh, in the ERP. Mm -hmm. But I can also perform additional services like uh, create orders for unplanned deliveries or deduct weight if the container is covered in snow. Or I can reclassify material if there's actually something else in the container than we expected. I can even add additional material or services directly to the order and invoice it straight away. So the ERP is always directly connected to the real life and to everything that is happening on the yard. Hmm. Yes, the yard. Out in the yard, out in the field, that's where real life happens. And that's also where you can find a lot of areas to improve your business, Stefan. Let's say there's always a lot of extra waste besides a bin at a customer. The people in the field, they will notice. And maybe that customer would be interested in a larger bin. Or how about your own yard? Let's say a customer is delivering copper scrap. Well, at least they're supposed to. Um, but when unloading your yard personnel, they realize there's actually a lot of dirt in there. It can happen. Wouldn't it be nice if your yard personnel could resolve that right out there without needing to go back into the office? As you can see, there's always great opportunities in the field. So that's why you need a flexible mobile solution, something like Power Apps. You could, for instance, make an app where a driver can scan a barcode on a bin. Uh, they can quickly take a photo of the overflowing bin, to take the example before, and then leave a note. Something like maybe a larger bin would be nice. So with Power Apps, all the relevant information can automatically come from your ERP system. That means you don't need to enter data twice. After all, you are on a mobile device. Your sales team is automatically notified so they can get in touch with the client before your competition does. And the best part, with Power Apps, your key users can take that idea and create the app themselves, mm -hmm. all without development know-how. And they can continue to improve that app over time with real user feedback. Now that's a game changer. That really helps you transform your business. Yeah, I can see that. And yes, mobility is really important. I understand that fully because I need real-time visibility of everything that's going on in my business. And um, so it's a great addition to my order management where I can capture all the actuals and everything that happens on site. Mm. And because I've built an analytics tool like uh, Power BI right in my ERP, I can analyze all of that. I can see what was planned and what we actually delivered or received. So uh, the Power BI options, they help me to see only the relevant data and then to draw the necessary conclusions from them. That's important for me. Mm -hmm. Having all that visibility helps me to create better services. And then my BI dashboards help me to plan better for our future activities. Now try to top that. Stefan, I find your lack of faith disturbing. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Wait a minute, guys. You could argue about innovations all day long because there are so many possibilities in a Microsoft platform, especially for the waste management and recycling industry. And this is where Cost for Consult comes in. But before we talk about that, let's just summarize what Stefan and David brought up. We heard Stefan was mentioning enterprise resource planning, 
so that you can manage your company's resources successfully. However, provided you have added a good industry-specific ISV solution and have the right ERP system, such as Cosmo Environmental Services, based on Microsoft Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. And besides of managing your financials, it supports route planning, integrates with your way bridges, and helps you manage your contracts and orders more efficiently. Then David mentioned machine learning, which learns from all your data in your ERP system and gives recommendations for your next actions. So you save a lot of time and headache for your decision making. Then there was the Internet of Things. We heard the example where you can send information directly from the sensor in your bin into your system. And combined with artificial intelligence, your system can predict and alert you once the bin is full. So you will find out what your customers need before they actually do. Then we also heard Power Apps, where you can create an app easily yourself without any developer skills. And you can connect it to your system. Then there is Power BI. Here you can analyze all your collected information, not only from your ERP system, but from all kinds of data sources. So you have a good base for your decision making. Now, to summarize, Cosmo Consult can help you with implementing all of that to make your life easier and to help your company staying competitive. Cosmo Consult is your end-to-end -end solution provider and your right partner for your digital transformation, especially for the waste and recycling industry. So thanks for participating. We hope you enjoyed our short talk. And for further information and any questions, please contact us in the chat or in the contact form available at our digital booth. So goodbye and we're looking forward to hearing from you.